Hi, I'm Robert from DAT Freight and Analytics, here to show you how to get the most from DAT1, the single source for all things freight. Beyond showing you how DAT1 works, I'm going to explain why DAT1 was designed to be the only app your trucking business will ever need. DAT1 is always working for you, and today I'm going to give you a rundown of how DAT1 puts you in the driver's seat for your business. Just a quick note that I'm going to be using the web version of DAT1, but we have a separate video that shows you how to do all of this on the mobile app. Let's get started. One of the first things that you can do as a carrier is post your truck on DAT1 so it can be found by brokers in need. As soon as you know that your truck is going to be available, go to the My Trucks tab here on the side panel. This is where you can add your truck and set yourself up with a negotiating advantage by having the brokers call you first. But let's make sure we're only getting calls about loads we know we want. First, pick your equipment type. You can choose vans, reefers, flatbeds, or you can get even more specific with options like hazmat, maxi trailers, anything that's specific to your business. This is going to be an advertisement for your truck, so brokers can know who they're working with before they even call. In this case, we have a flatbed. It's 48 feet, and I can scale all the way up to 42,000 pounds. Next, I enter in the origin and destination for where the truck is going to be available. One thing that's really important is to put which areas you're willing to go to. An easy way to do that is with zones that let you quickly add regions or states. Zones are really just the first number of a zip code in that area. So for example, a lot of Oregon zip codes start with 97, so we can enter in zone 9. I'm going to put in the dates that the truck is available. And then we get to the really crucial piece here, which is setting the minimum rate. This is just the starting point to get the negotiation going and make sure you get calls on loads you're willing to haul. Next, we can get to the comments. This is an easy way to add information that will lead to a better conversation with the broker. So in this case, I'm gonna say we're ready to load at noon Pacific Standard Time. One of the big things with posting your truck is it really helps set you apart. When the broker calls you, you're in the driver's seat in that negotiation. They're calling you because they need your truck. Once you start getting calls from brokers, DAT1 has tools at your fingertips to make sure you've got the best information available. Once you learn the specifics on that load and the lane it's on, you can quickly go back to the rate lookup. You can also use the DAT directory to look up that brokerage, verify their credentials, and look up company reviews. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos to help with your rate negotiations. Next, I'm going to show you how easy it is to search for good loads on DAT1. There are special filters to help you hone in on the loads that fit exactly what you're looking for, or you can zoom out to see everything that's out there. All you got to do is click on this blue button in the corner to get started. We're going to enter in our origin and destination. For this example, we're going to search for loads in Portland, Oregon. Obviously, deadhead is really important, so you can adjust for how many miles you're willing to drive to go to your pickup. For destination, we're going to look at zone 9. That's the area that we want to go to. And again, we're going to choose flatbed for our equipment type. We can also set the date range and load requirements. In this case, we're willing to take a full or partial load. We have 48 feet to work with and 42,000 pounds. We can also put load tracking in here which lets brokers know that you're okay with loads that require tracking. The age defaults to 24 hours, but if you only want to see loads that have been posted for the past eight hours, this is where you would adjust that. All right, now that we have a list of available loads, along with all the details you need to make informed decisions about which ones you want to call on, you can see how long it's been posted, the broker credit score, the average days to pay, and the offer rate. This check mark lets you know that this has been pre-approved by our factoring partner, OTR. If you go that route, you can get paid within 24 hours. If the lane is over 250 miles, we'll show you what the average rate paid to carriers has been over the past two weeks. We will also show you the range of the rates paid, which is information you can use in the negotiations. Hit up the DAT YouTube channel for more information. There's more info you can use to vet this potential business partner. A broker with a couple of negative reviews is not the end of the world. Sometimes a reviewer generally didn't like doing business with that company. Look instead for reviews that mention the conduct, performance, and personality of the broker. As you are building out your customer network, 
You can also add preferred brokers or even block others so they don't appear in your search results. Brokers also have the ability to offer loads directly to you as a part of their private network, rather than posting them to the entire load board. Those will appear in the private loads tab. Loads that have the book option allow carriers to book the load without having to make a phone call. You can send a booking request or place a bid for that load. If it's accepted, the broker will email the rate confirmation directly to you. Easy as that. As you're searching, you might find loads you want to save for later, or maybe you're waiting on a response about that load you called about. Those saved loads will appear in the My Loads tab. That's just the tip of the iceberg for what you can do with DAT1. Sign up today at dat.com forward slash carriers and get the single source for all things freight.